Hello and welcome back to the second video of our two-part build series where we will be building a baby tooth DIY FPV drone. In this video we will primarily be configuring and doing some flight tests but before we get started I am adding a modification to the power connector and creating a hybrid PH 2.0 slash XT30 connector to accommodate both battery types. This modification was initiated by a comment in the previous video about the performance of a PH 2.0 connector as opposed to a XT30 connector, uh, the XT30 being better. This is true. However, most of my batteries are PH2 connector types, especially 1S batteries. It didn't bother me as much. I do, however, have batteries with XT30 connectors, so I thought I would create this hybrid type of connector with both types. A shout out to Dragonclaw FPV for the comment. Thank you. If you are interested in more detailed information on this build, make sure to check out my blog at nuxnick.com where I go over in detail some of the things you see in this video. Remember, heat shrink is your friend. To secure the PH 2.0 connector, I'm using a dab of super glue and using a clamp to let it dry. Fast forward a couple minutes later when it was dried and we'll cover up the whole thing with yet another layer of heat shrink tubing. Okay, before putting a battery on it, I checked the in continuity mode with my multimeter to see if any wires were crossed, which they weren't. Here we are at a weight of 49.1. I believe that was a difference of 3.3 grams. Let's configure this drone. We'll open Betaflight Connect. Go to the command line interface. And before we start changing things, we will save a diff with the current settings of the flight controller. We can copy this to the clipboard and save it in an external file. Reconnect, go to ports, and here we will be configuring our Eosheen VTX. This specific VTX uses the TRAMP protocol. And here I'm setting the serial receiver to UART2. Save and reboot. Okay, you can see that our drone, the orientation is upside down. This is due to the fact that we flipped the board over to accommodate the USB connector. Here we can change this very simply under board and sensor alignments and set the roll degrees to 180. Save and reboot. Uh, 
That looks much better. Since we flipped the board around, we have to change the motor numbers and reassign the resources. We will first get an idea of what resources are mapped to where by typing in resource. And before reassigning those resources, we have to free them. So for each motor, we will free the resource and set it to none. One through four. To check if the resources were freed, we'll type in resource one more time, and yes, they are now freed up and are not listed in the resource map. Now that they've been freed up, we can reassign them. Depending on your board, these values can be different. When you initially view your resource map, you will have to remap the motors depending on the orientation of the board. Okay, let's type in resource once more to see if our resources were remapped. And that's looking good. Let's save it. Reconnect. Go to CLI. And for my VTX, I'm adding the VTX table. This can depend on the VTX that you're using, so make sure to look up and get the correct values. Copy, paste, and save. Let's go back to CLI. I already tuned this quad and I'm using my PIDs. You can view them on my blog. This is a simple copy and paste. Let's take it out and fly it. This drone is very acrobatic and maneuverable, fairly easy to fly. One very nice advantage to this drone is being able to fly in public. It's not loud, it's non-threatening, and doesn't bother people. I've flown this many times in more crowded areas in the park and have never had a problem. Here I wanted to test the VTX flying through a Bando, 25 milliwatts. In this port I just flew straight up as far as I felt comfortable and came back down. As you can see, I do get pretty high. One change I never got around to doing was getting rid of the low battery warning. This is a simple configuration in Betaflight.
lose all your blues and laugh at it. Sing about laughing at life for you. There's only one thing that left to do. The boss man says that we gotta go out. So hold on the phone while the band plays out. Thank you for watching my video, subscribe and we will see you next time.